Hello all, welcome to AC Electronics. So this video is an MCQ questions from CRO or cathode ray oscilloscope. I have tried to include 10 questions from the CRO session. We have already done a video on the theory and the block diagram of CRO. So in this video we will be seeing the 10 questions. First we will be seeing the 10 questions, then you will be seeing the solutions. Okay, just like a mock test I am doing this video. So next we are going to see the 10 questions from the CRO session. Okay. So this video is an MCQ video for CRO or cathode ray oscilloscopes. We have already done the theory video of CRO. So if you don't know anything about CRO, please do watch that video. Okay. Now we are going to see the answers for the 10 questions which you have already seen. The first question is, so these are all actually theory questions connected to cathode ray oscilloscope. Okay. First one is very basic question. CRO stands for dash. A. Cathode ray oscilloscope. B. Current resistance oscillator. C. Central resistance oscillator, D capacitance resistance oscilloscope. The correct answer is very simple one A, which is cathode ray oscilloscope. Okay, so that is the abbreviation of CRO. It is basically used for the measurement of amplitude of periodic and non periodic signals as a function of time. So we represent the signals as function of time. All those things we have discussed in that theory video. Okay, so the correct answer for the first question is A. Cathode ray oscilloscope. Moving on to the second question. Okay. So the second question is. Electron beam is deflected in A. One direction. B. Four direction. C. Three directions. D. Two directions. So we have discussed uh, in the theory video. And also you should be knowing that. There are two directions in which we have to deflect the electron beam. One is in the vertical direction, next one is the horizontal direction. And for this purpose, there have been two sets of deflection plates kept inside the CRT, which are vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates. So there is actually two directions of deflection happening to the electric B, sorry, the electron B. Okay, so correct answer is option D. In two directions, the electron beams are getting deflected. Okay. Moving on to the third question. Third question is CRO is a dash. Fast A, fast XY plotter. B, slow XY plotter. C, medium XY plotter. D, not a plotter. It is a plotter actually. Plotter means something which plots the waveforms or the signals fed to it. Okay. So, it is a fast XY plotter. Correct answer is option A. CRO is a XY plotter. It plots generally a signal's amplitude with respect to its time, time duration. That is, it plots like this, the amplitude and time. So, it is a XY plotter. Okay, XY plotter. Correct answer is A, fast XY plotter. The fourth question Typically, oscilloscope represent dash. A, current and time. B, resistance and time. C, voltage and time. D, power and time. Correct answer is C, voltage and time. We generally, when we use the CRO in the labs and all, we know that it is plotting voltage or we say it is amplitude. Voltage with respect to time. Okay. So, correct answer is option C. It plots voltage with respect to time. Moving on to the fifth question.
Now it is connected to the application of CRO. CRO is used in a radar for dash. A. Studying the pattern of flights. B. Visualizing a target. C. Measuring voltage. D. Determining the distance between source and destination. Correct answer is in order to visualize a target or target we use the CRO in the radar. So there are various areas in which we can actually use CRO for lab, in labs, we can use in medical field, in uh, radar, all these things we can use CRO. It is just a displaying uh, instrument, right? So it displays the uh, signals or the voltages connected to it. So in the radar field, we can use CRO for visualizing a target. Correct answer is option B. Okay. Then, sixth question. CRO is used for measurement of dash. A. AC as well as DC current. B. AC current only. C. DC current only. D. AC power supply only. Okay. So, it can display or it can measure both AC as well as DC current. Okay. So, the correct answer is A. AC as well as DC current. So, a cathode ray oscilloscope is used for the measurement of AC as well as DC current. It can be used for the Calculation of peak to peak voltage, RMS voltage, duty cycle and etc. So, it can be used with DC and also AC. Correct answer is A. Okay. Seventh question. Seventh question is, how is the waveform adjusted? That is how we adjust the waveform in CRO. A. By adjusting the voltage. B. By through shift controls, C by reducing the current, D by means of galvanometer. The correct answer is, even though we can adjust the voltage and the time and all these uh, things, we generally adjust the shift controls, okay. So, through shift controls, we generally adjust the waveform. Correct answer is option B, through shift controls, okay. Moving on to the eighth question. So, if you have used the CRO in your labs, you will be uh, answering, you can answer all these questions very simply. Okay. Eighth question is, period of a waveform is obtained by which of the following relation? A, T equal to, T that is the period, equal to number of divisions occupied by one cycle into time. B, T equal to number of divisions occupied by one cycle into one by division. C, T equal to, Number of divisions occupied by one cycle into time by division. So, that is the correct option. Okay. So, in order to get the time period, you have to use a relation time period T equal to number of divisions in one cycle into time by division. Okay. So, that is the formula for calculating the time period which is option C is the correct answer. Okay. Moving on to the ninth question. By making use of a CRO dash A. Many characteristics of a signal can be measured. B. Only a few characteristics of the signal can be measured. C. No characteristics of the signal can be measured. D. Signal can only be displayed. Actually, we can measure many characteristics of the signal. So, the correct answer is option A is the correct answer. Okay. We can use the CRO for measuring the voltage, the, the frequency, the time period, the duty cycle, the RMS value, peak value. So, many character, characteristics can actually be measured with the help of a CRO. So, the correct answer is A. That is, we can measure many characteristics. Okay. Ninth question, correct answer is A. The tenth question which is the last question. Front panel of a CRO has dash. A. 4 sections. B. 8 sections. C. 15 sections. D. 20 sections. Okay. So, a simple CRO has basically 4 sections in the front panel. Okay. It is having 4 sections in the front panel. And the sessions are, first one is basic control. Then, second one is vertical session. C, or, uh, sorry, third one is horizontal session 
and Z axis intensity control. Okay, so these are the we are talking about a basic or a simple CR. Okay, now the advanced versions are also be available. But when you talk about a simple CRO, it is having four basic sessions in the front panel of the instrument. Okay, so in, in the instrument we are talking. When you are actually operating the instrument, the front panel can be divided as four sessions, basic controls, vertical, horizontal and inset axis control. That is intensity control. So these are the four sessions and the correct answer is option A, four sessions. Okay, correct answer for 10th question is option A. So these are the 10 questions which I have included in this video. I have tried to include some basic questions connected with the CRO. For uh, that, if you are preparing for some competitive examinations, especially for diploma examination, it will be very useful. Because you can see most of the times in question papers, a lot of questions connected with the CRO. It's uh, even abbreviation is also very important. Okay, so... If you are preparing for some examinations, these type of MCQ questions are very important to you. And I am really hoping you found the video useful. If yes, please do pass on these videos to your friends also. And uh, also please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.